Bang her in! <laughs> oh, hey. Squirt her for the second time. Mmm. El Picado never disappoints. He was right. Coffee. Honey. I'll just give you, like, energy, too, though. You want to taste this one? I'm good. Demo? Well, this is kind of the thing. It was like the... Yeah. This shit you good, had though. this one before? Yeah, I have. This shit right here is good. Yeah, that... That's a chocolate. Taste this one, though. We only got one, so you want to... You like the chocolate ones. I like everything. Oh, that's actually good. Yeah. Yeah, you want that one to be your front runner before you get to the good stuff. I'm not gonna go speaking right of now. speaking of beers, what are we drinking on tonight? All right, so all right, I just want everyone in the house to know that this will be the last run of sharing and caring. Yeah. Right, um, so what that means? So the next people got to bring their own beers next time. No, what this means is that the Forty Ninety Nine podcast has really enjoyed their on show drinking habit yeah. um, but we're gonna wait and see if anyone wants to sponsor us because we have all these word. non-sponsors and we're buying all these local beers and we really enjoy them yeah but that's the thing we really enjoy the beers but really putting them on though. we yeah. really yeah we're really advertising for free is what we're doing <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so. so we'd rather uh, keep the brews to ourselves and uh, mm-hmm. if someone wants to what likes us enough to you know want to sponsor this podcast right this camera this camera this camera this camera hey you know just give us a call let us know yeah but uh until then i'm gonna be developing a 4099 koozie yeah i think that'll be fun i'm gonna try to make it out of something that's like a little more like uh Earth friendly than fucking styrofoam yeah. or whatever that weird shit is. Yeah. Made out of it. We'll see what we can't do about that. But tonight, I've revisited uh, Shelby, North Carolina's um, El Picado. I forget the name of the brewery. It's um, on the can, maybe. I hope. Yeah, New Grass Brewing. This thing, it punches. It punches real heavy. Mm-hmm. It's real thick, real Punch stout. Cakes. Yeah. Um, and of course, we're gonna go the rest of the way, and go. we'll go through each one of these one by one as I work through them. But go ahead and uh, share yours. Yeah, this is a uh, I never tried it before. Up all night. It should look like, seem like it's gonna have me up all night. <laughs> and coffee and tastes just like it. Mm. This should be good though. Mm. Yeah, that one. Uh, like this, was, some, this. Oh, they're from Charlotte. Yeah, it's a Charlotte company I was telling you about. Oh uh, yeah, they're in Charlotte. The Shout out to them. Triple C Brewing Company. Shout out to Triple C, Triple C Brewing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and as I as I take a, a sip of my drink, um, I'm drinking on. I'm revisiting. This is a revisit, folks. I'm uh, revisiting Shaxbury, uh Dry Hop Arlo Cider. So. Yes. Yeah. So uh, this, this, yeah, we're, we're this. drinking on. We're drinking on. That's mm-hmm. other halves. Shaxbury dry hop. Arlo yes. cider. Yes. Other excuse me. Here. Yeah. So yeah, that's what we're doing. This shit kind of burning. Like I'll drink some wick or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's hard. Yeah. This it's is hard. hard. I'm gonna gulp it. All right. And we're all well, kicking pretty high. Don't forget, that's 10%. I'm trying to get that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's going to be a good we're night. We're having fun on this podcast tonight. All right, press that mic now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so, welcome to the 4099 Podcast Woo! with your host, I'm Nick, and Dima, and uh, today, oh my god, yeah, we have one of my best friends, drumroll please, such, such a, <clears throat> such a freaking inspiring artist to the city, yeah man. Such a well versed and such a gentleman. Mm-hmm. A well versed gentleman. Does he have a name? Does he have a name? And What's his name? name? And I don't know his name. I build it up. I like that. Tucci the motherfucking <laughs> zombie. <laughs> I wish he'd drop some verbs. Yeah. All right, we'll get to that though. Yeah. This is a start. So, um, today we're just gonna really be focusing on you, Tucci. Yeah. We're gonna be focusing on you and um, your come up, yeah. Um, and how you got started in, in music and 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 gradually work from there. 
trials and tribulations, man. It's yeah. a lot of trials and tribulations. And there is a lot of questions we have to ask you. Yeah. Um, damn, dude, because I've known, I've known you for damn near, yeah. like, four, maybe five, maybe it's more. Maybe longer dude. than that, Yeah, man. since I was in high school. Yeah, for that's... Sure. That, my, my graduation year was 2011. Yep. It's probably been 10, 9. Yeah. Time flies, bro. It's yeah. probably been like nine years. Yeah, it's been Since a while. First time. It's been a while. It's been a yeah, while. Yeah, we still rocking. What's up? That's <laughs> ah, <laughs> crazy. Um, yeah. So I know a lot about you, Nick. Excuse me. Actually, Nick is. Yeah. I mean, you guys I mean, linked yeah. before. But so. this was in two, two, two years, three, two, three, three years. Two, 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 yeah, you know, some, some slight. You yeah. know what I mean? Some slight. Two, two, three. Um, so inside of four, outside of two. So relative, a good amount. A good amount to have really yeah. good questions prepared for you, and it's a bit of great frame relationship, bro. Hey, no, for real. We it's just positive vibes in here. Yeah. Um, and and to kind of focus on your story and what the fuck. Your, your journey has been I kind of wanted to ask you the, f- the first question of the night which is how how did you get into music and I know it's a very generic question I know it's a, probably a question I think I think I would dial that question back just just a booty hair okay and I would I would more so say like what were your like when you were growing up as a child what were your influences mm. like um, where did where did you draw into music and say like this, it was, this is cool? I was born into it. Mm. I was born into it. My dad, he was a DJ, big time DJ in the, in the city, Cape Girardeau, a little town called J- Cape Girardeau, in Missouri. Mm. He went by the name of Captain Throwdown. My father, Captain Throwdown, DJ Captain Throwdown. Oh. That's the coolest <laughs> fucking name ever. Yeah. He still and he still DJ to this day. Wow, like that's almost like DJ Captain Throwdown. That's like superhero cool. Yeah. yeah. And that's what oh. so I grew up in it. So I'm a little baby all my life hearing bass. Yeah. Boom, Music boom, crowd. Boom, yeah. Yeah. boom. But I think I see that's when I got the love for music. But I think when I started creating it and start rapping it, that what influenced me was my brothers. Mm. My older brothers. I mm. got three older brothers. Mm. And they was doing music. Well they was trying to do it back then. They was really in the streets though. So what did they do? Like See see that's what I'm saying. Like, how much older are they? My oldest brother is like 34, mm-hmm. and my second oldest brother, he like 32. Okay. No, my oldest brother is like 30, 36, mm. and my second oldest brother is like 34, and my third oldest brother is like 32. Okay, so they're all in their yeah. 30s. We all, yeah, they are. We are kind of close to each other too, though. Well, yeah, I'm like five years apart from the, my third oldest. Okay. So when they're when they're when they're on the come up when they're trying to do the music thing, are you guys still in? Um, you said you were in around the St. Louis. No, area. no, we was here. Okay, we was here. So in Greensboro. Yeah, we was here in Greensboro. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, I used to go in their rooms. They used to kick me out all the time. Me oh and my no, little brother. Yeah, me and my little <laughs> brother Austin. They used to have a keyboard, a Casio, a Casio <clears throat> excuse me, a Casio keyboard. My grandma. They used to make beats on it, yeah. record on that, and record on it too. And I used to go in there, and they'd be like, "Get out!" Because we, me and my little brother, in there making all types of movies. <laughs> yeah. Get out! Trying to record. Get out! Man, I'm a little dude. I'm a little dude. That's when I first seen it. Though. So you were all in there like Michael. You're like, yo, I want to record. And they're like, yeah, nah. I was just satisfied of, like, of it all. They used to have like just, girls in the room. Oh, I'm just a young nigga. You just like, want to go yeah. in there like saturate yourself in it and be like, yeah. this is cool. I'm having fun. Yeah, really. That's what it was. And they weren't about it. Like, and, I always, and I always had the ear for music because my dad grew up in it. I'm in a womb hearing music. So I'm like, I always had an uh, ear for it. So seeing my brothers do it made me want to really try to do it. But me, out of the whole family, I'm the one who really took it there with the music, though. Mm. They did it, but they never really, like, put they all into it. I was the first, and I showed now, them that. Now, are any of them still, like, actively, like, yeah. pursuing music? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> well, two of, two of them, of my oldest brother, they are incarcerated right now. They've mm. been incarcerated for a minute. So, but my uh, youngest oldest brother, my third oldest brother, he just got out of prison from doing nine years. And he out now. He's the one who really rap. Mm, okay. His name's Super. He go by Super. Mm, mm. And he the one he, he the one who started SBM. This SBM tatted. 
Yeah, that was that was a question Sears I had Bound. for you. Yeah, Sears about Sears about music, Sears about money. That's what that means. Yep, Sears about music, Sears about money. That's two meanings. Had to change it. See, all right, let me give you the origin as we Yeah. My well, brother, before, before you yeah, get go ahead. Origin. Yeah, that's a whole that's a yeah. whole Because that's that's like a that's like a huge thing. Yeah, that's a whole I wanted to ask I wanted to ask you, do you think that by your brothers kicking you out of that room though on those days, it gave you a, a, a it, it forced you to drive harder and like a vendetta? Yeah. yeah. Almost like a, yeah. It it made me want to do it more. Mm. <laughs> I used to sneak you some I used bitches. To sneak. <laughs> when they, they used to be gone in school, like they used to leave out. Man, and my little brother Austin used to go in there making beats, mm. and we were so bad. They used to we'd be in there and they'd catch us in there. And our brothers are the type of brothers that'll beat you up yeah. if you in there. They used to just come in there, catch us, smack us up back in the head. <laughs> Y'all get out of my room. But you know, man, and Austin, me and my little brother Austin, we were still trying to do it. But that's where I first got the love for it, the feeling mm. of actually writing and creating my own music. Mm. And then that's so so going to the SBM serious about money serious about music. Yep. Um, since we're talking about you being so serious about the shit, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know what I mean, how did what? It, first of all, I want you to explain what it is. What like what is serious about <clears throat> music? Serious about money? SBM. Well, it goes deeper. SBM started. It was my brother. Mm -hmm. It was my oldest brother. He started. It was a gang thing at first. Mm -hmm. He started off, it was like a B and E game. It was SBM Sears about money then. Mm. That's when it was. It was Sears about money. And it was him and his and his group uh doing a lot of things and they went by SBM. I wasn't SBM then. Mm. None of my people was. Mm. But after he, he had got into some trouble and got locked up, everybody was sad about that. So I t I chose to take that name and take that SBM. I wanted to keep his legacy going. Mm. So I wanted to take that SBM and turn it into something positive because it was negative at the time. Mm. So I changed it to SBM Sears About Music. That's where me and my little brother first started. It was just me and my little brother and my homie Kevin and Brendan. We was we was like in Turnbridge. We grew up in Turnbridge mm. on the Lost North of Greensboro. Yeah. That's where we first started off the SBM. And to keep it real, it wasn't even a mu it wasn't a music group then. It was a football team. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? That's what it came. That was the first. That's what was the first thing it was. I thought you were like nah. It was a friend group. No, and you dropped. It was, it was a, a football, football team. team. <laughs> we, the SBM was a football team at first. Cause we used to have a little tournaments in Turnbridge, little kids, like, we had different groups, like like street that, football. Kind yeah, of. we just pick a field and just play football. Jesus, right there. all right. And everybody had their little group, and we yeah. was the SBM. How old were you? Like I think out there I was, playing illegal football? I think I think it was like 12, 13. Okay, okay. Really young. Yeah. We were still young. Yeah, yeah. Twelve, like 12, 13. But in all kinds of shit. But music was still you still still, still music, but I didn't have the equipment to do it on my own. Right. It like yeah, so, I had the equipment back then, but when I started, it's a whole man. Like me and Brendan, his name he go by Brendan Powers, big big time R and B. Yeah, shout big out time, to Brendan. Yeah, shout out to Brendan, yeah. big time R and B artist. Um, me and him, we was at the flea market. Y'all know the flea market on Tuesday. Hell yeah! Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, the very that was the very I don't know what year it probably was like 2007 or something I think 2008 that was when I first ever seen FL Studio I always seen it on the internet mm. and stuff but never really paid attention to it until I went to the flea market it was this dude named I'll never forget it was this computer geek dude bald gray hair on the side <laughs> but he was a computer nerd and he had a he had a whole bunch of computers up yeah. and one of the computers had FL Studio pulled up on him and me and Brandon just walking by and we see it. We like, oh yo, this is the FL studio right here. Yeah. And we start we start getting on and messing with it. We was there for like hours. Like we stayed there tonight till they closed at that same spot, messing with the FL studio. Oh, they got we didn't up, like, it. 
They came over there. He's like, uh, yeah. you guys you gonna buy that? Or you gonna shit no, you all day? <laughs> keep it real. He was cool. He was cool with his dad. That same dude. I'm still, I'm still linked up with him wow. to, to, to this day. What? Because he, because I use him. He fixed computers every time oh. my computer get messed up. I bring it to him. It's been years since I know him. Okay. And he knows us. I done been out with him a lot too. Mm. A little old white dude. Mm. Yeah, and me and Brandon we was just there for them to the whole time, bro. Just chilling on there the whole time, and didn't want to leave. And the dude actually, uh, nah, he he gave us a short, a uh, uh, cheap price for it. Mm. I had my computer with me too, though, and he put on all the he put the FL on there. He put Photoshop. He did all that oh, for like so twenty. Yeah, yeah. He just put it all all the programs that we needed. Sony Vegas, all that on one laptop for twenty dollars, and we left there. Ever since then. Hell yeah. yeah. Is this around the same time? Is this like around that same time period that you were like, we, we, what are we talking about? Like, you still playing football then? Yeah. 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 I had just moved from Turnbridge though. Mm. We, I, I believe we got kicked out of Turnbridge. Mm. Still probably so some crazy stuff. But, damn. But. Live with mm, That's cool. But, um, it was, it was like, as soon as we moved, I was like a freshman in high school. I was like a freshman in high school. Yeah. When, no, I was in like seventh grade when we went to uh when we went to uh you can just press it. When we went to the uh to that uh flea market. Flea market, yeah. It was like seventh grade. Yep. And we moved from Turnbridge. I moved out there near Northeast, Northeast High School. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, man, I've just been on it. Fruity loops. I started making beats at first. I wasn't really, I was more interested and exciting for the creation of producing. Oh, you should tell you. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so, so, okay, that's my next question for you, though. It's like, you, so you started making, you started making beats, and when you were making beats, did you ever, did you ever, what was the hustle? Were you hustling beats? Were you just making them for fun? Like, how was yeah, that process? Yeah, it was all, man, back then, it was never with no hustle. Mm. It was all fun. It was all to just to, it was like playing video games to me. Mm. It wasn't for nobody. It was just for me. Mm. So, back then, yeah, that's basically how it was. And you were just working on them by yourself, like, on the on the computer? Yeah, all day, every day. It was like a video game. I, I literally skipped school. I was... I never, I didn't even graduate. Mm. I always skipped school just to be in front of my computer mm. and just doing all types of stuff in front. Of, not just making beats. I'm uploading stuff on SoundClick. Y'all remember SoundClick? Yeah, I, don't think I, I remember SoundClick. Bro. SoundClick. I remember that. I'm uploading beats on SoundClick. And then I don't know. I don't know what got me to start writing. Actually, when I start rapping, I start writing out other song lyrics, like Fifty Cent, Get Richard, I Try and Soundtrack. Mm. In certain songs, I used to copy his lyrics. I mm. wrote it down and mm. like wrote 50 Cent lyrics. I keep pausing it and write what he said, play it, pause it, and write so what he you, said. So when you were and young, when I, yeah, you when were I was studying young, it. Yeah, so when I wrote it out, I take his lyrics and rap them lyrics on another beat. Mm. So it was just, that's when I first got the, the taste of writing music. It was just copying other people's songs, writing it down. And then from there, I just started doing writing my own songs, mm. coming up with my own songs. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so who do you think? So Fifty, you said Fifty was definitely you would say a pretty pretty big influence because yeah. you're looking at him. Who were some of the uh, who were some of the people that you were listening to that really had an impact on? I can uh, your Fifty taste? Cent, the whole No Limit with Master P and all them Silver Shocker. And three six mafia. <laughs> Those are the oh. type of people who really I listen to, like in the NWA, like Dr. Dre and them, Snoop Dogg, The Chronic two thousand one. Really, I couldn't even listen to them. My parents wouldn't even let me listen to The Chronic two thousand one because mm. it was so explicit. But I love that album. That to this day I still bump that album. Mm. Man, you, you found a way to get it. Yeah, yeah. I did. You know, yeah. I was I was a computer geek. Like yeah. I said, I used to skip school just to be on the computer hacking shit, doing dumb shit. And I was nice with the editing, graphic, mm. and all this. So you were up on the computer stuff way before, like it really, really. Took I was off. there yeah. when, like, excuse me. I was there like when that social media was born. Mm. I was there before it, 
I was there before it was uh, Facebook. Before I remember when Facebook first dropped. I remember when MySpace was the top social media spot to go to. I was there when it was Bebo. I don't even think y'all even remember that. Do y'all know who Bebo is? No, I don't even remember. Yeah, Bebo was really where it started at. It was Bebo. It was something like MySpace, but you could do more. So it was before MySpace. Yeah, yeah. this is yeah. Bebo was MySpace was out, but nobody was really on it. It was on Bebo. Mm-hmm. I didn't start fucking like with, like Facebook until I was seven. Yeah, yeah. I, was I ain't really on Facebook like that. Yeah, me either. I think I ain't start messing with Facebook till like. 2012. Mm. I was on Twitter more before Facebook. Yeah. I was a MySpace guy just because of the playlists. And then I started learning about like all the HTML right, yeah, stuff and like coding and all that. And yeah. I was like getting a little nerdy and I was like, you know what, fuck this. Oh, and for uh, for our viewership, um, looking, on, looking at us and, and uh, for our listeners... Um, we have live running over here. You can't oh, see yeah. it, but um, oh, that's Facebook why live. we've been standing up and trying to get yeah. that whatever there is off off frame, right? But um, so Nick, did you have anything that? Because I know you had some questions unloaded and ready to go. Uh, where are we on time so far? We're on twenty one minutes. Twenty one. Okay. That shit full by. It does. It, it's crazy. You get like in the light yeah. and you just start letting it roll, and like it'll fly by. We'll be at like two hours before you even realize <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. We're just kicking it. Out. It's ridiculous. Okay. Um. So. But the origin, bro. That's origin. that's a lot, really. I mean, yeah. it's a lot. It's a really go deeper, man. But I want. Say that. There's like a hundred so, million questions. Then like yeah. About. <laughs> It's, so it, I'm I'm like curious to ask like what's like the relationship with you and your parents? Boy, we got a great relationship. Like me and my parents, bro, it's a blessing to have them too, though, to keep it high. Cause most of my friends, bro, they parents, they they really didn't have both parents growing up. Mm. Where there's me, like some absenteeism. Yeah, but me though, I had both parents. I, I grew up with a big family. I I grew up in a big house, five bedrooms, six bedrooms. All my brothers, my mom and dad together. We cook big breakfasts every morning. Y'all ever seen Cheaper about a Dozen? Yeah, man. I, I love big breakfasts. Yeah, and that's I, how I really grew up as a youngin' mm. before my parents had got divorced. Mm. But they didn't get divorced until their youngest kids was 18 and grown. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I respect my parents. They really showed me how to really be a parent. We ain't never want for nothing. They we, If we struggle, we never saw it. Mm. They never let us know. We mm. never seen it. So I really get a big, I mean, the relationship with my parents, bro, is like, it's a blessing. You feel like that laid a solid foundation for you. And it does, though, like, it, it that does show character in that person mm. of how you was raised. I'm fucking jealous. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'll be trying to see, I'll be having friends, too, though, that didn't grow up with that. And so I try to give them that love, too. Mm. Like, I welcome them to my home or wherever I'm at. Like, that's like they was my family. Yeah, that's something I can talk about. Yeah. Like, God, man, I remember when, when, whenever, because the first time we met was at this show. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you remember. I think it was at a UNCG show. Was yeah, it was, was, it was that at Gifford, a, college? Gifford College? Yeah, yeah Gifford, Gifford college. college show. Yeah, that um, show was dope, too. Yeah, we were having a lot of fun. I just, I remember you were just like, my homie was performing, like, you just started jamming out, and I was like, yo. That's that's cool. And we just like started LinkedIn, a conversation yeah. off of that, and then next thing I know, I you know we you pull linked up, to up and then, yeah, I pulled up to this point. And like this, this is how I knew you were like the fucking greatest was because um, you like off gate were like, yo, come through to my, you know what I mean, bless yeah. wow. like yeah. come through to this spot, and it was your mom's spot. Yeah. And I was like, damn, like yep, like, studio set up and all that. What where where like other people would never even see because it's just, it me that bro. I, I'm I'm open hearted firsthand off with anybody. Mm. I'm not going like you got to do something for me not to fuck with you. Mm. But me first meeting somebody, I'm gonna love you like you my brother. Mm. Anybody, I'm gonna treat you like you my family. My mm. first time meeting you until you do something right. that shows me that you not. Then I, it's just a distance. I'm still respectful and stuff, but just moving another way. I mean, now. shit. Yesterday you let me destroy your kill death ratio. Yep. <laughs> See, like it ain't all that. That's it. I appreciate it. But that's how I was raised, though. <laughs> Damn. This but mother... I told you to always do that. Yeah, don't even worry. Yeah. 
But that's how. But I've been getting a lot of views. People been talking and shit. They been wanting to tune in. But we're it's gonna, that iPad. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna turn it on in episode yeah. two. All right. Um, but really though, that's how I was growing. I was raised that way to show love. Uh, my parents. We always had another family living in our house, mm. so it was always what? literally yeah. We had like my cousins, whole family. It's like their mom and their dad, and it's like three of them mm. living in the same house with us. And we just all grew up. That's how it was. That's why I was like cheaper by the dozen. We was all waking up every morning, big breakfast, every holiday, That's Thanksgiving. That's fucking sick. Yeah, yeah. That, that feeling. See, good. a lot of like, people wouldn't think that by looking at me. They'd think that I'm been just a hood, right? been in the streets. <laughs> type. Nah. Don't talk come, to him. He's homeless. Yeah, I ain't come from that. I ain't even going to brag about being in the streets or doing anything because that ain't where I came from. Mm. Mm. But it came to that, though. Really, it, it's my uncles. I think the real street life came from my older brothers, but where they get it from was my uncles. Mm. My uncles kind of raised them when I was a baby, mm. born, not even born yet. They they was around them, and my uncles was actually like the ones doing, yeah. yeah, doing crazy stuff. So I guess they picked it up from them. But we ain't never come from no struggle, though. no struggle. See, that kind of resonates with me too, because like my uncles were like my like other fathers yeah so that's how it was with us and like with them they were always like super laid back kind of chill a little judgy but like their judgments like on the world around them and around us formed my opinion yeah yeah so yeah so then I get that I, I get where you're coming from yeah that's it it was a big impact though and, I, and like I said man I'm thankful for that like not too many people are, and I've been around a lot of people and a lot of friends that their parents didn't treat them like how my parents did. I used to spend the night at their house. Mm. Their parents used to do things that I know damn well my mom wouldn't say nothing like mm. that or do anything like that. So it made me thankful for what I got because a lot of people don't get that. Dying. All right, so um, having said all that and having gone through like the beginning the startup to the music shit basically the the foundation you know covering your family and SBM a little bit and um you know what what your influences were and are um we're gonna call this the end of uh part one of the interview um yeah. thank you guys for for coming out and viewing part one of the interview we'll we'll be back with the second part um, We're going to be sure to go ahead and drop Tucci the Zombies contact information in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's right. Thank you. Crap out! <laughs> Sucker punching. Crap out! Yeah, man.